Uh, hello, what's up, guys? Welcome to Ama HG2K. Before we get somewhere done, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. In this specific tutorial, I want to show you the Tele ICU project remix that I did on Nike Nike. Hi, 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 hi. All right, so let's get some work done. Uh, let me play what I have here and then I'll jump into explanations. Also, if you want this project, the link will be in the description below. You can use it as a template. You can just, you know, uh, play around with it or create something using the same, uh, the same sound. So let me play what I have here and then I'll explain. so that's all for the project and then from here this is the same thing uh it is this uh log drum section is the same as this part and then i have the um last part before i waste much of your time let me just try to explain this quick so it hosted it from from the drums right so this is what i have from the drum your shakers on point first right so from shakers you know you put your kick so once you have a shakers and uh, your shaker and the kick do the main percussion first for example let's say this one and then from these main percussions, once you have this, it will then give you the ability of, you know, adding more and more and make it advance. Just like this. All right. Let me move forward. And then I have the riser um, and the drum rolls that I have. So you can see that uh, there is much. I have other symbols that are chopped and ordered, but... um. You can even still make it simple just by finding um, any simple raise effect, just like this. Just this one without any a lot of extra thing, it can work. So I say drums, my drums are ready, right? And then now I'm jumping into the riser effect. My riser effect is ready to introduce the sounds uh, that are here to the next part. So the sounds that are here, right, um, I recommend maybe starting up with a, like an ambient sound or keys. So it's up to you. Either you want to start with an ambient sound or keys, but then me, I'm going to go for the ambient sound. So the ambient sound that I have here is this one. So any, 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 um, any preset can work like a pad, a string can work. You can maybe try to filter if you're using a, a string so that it can sound similar to a pad. Right. And then from there, um, no, before I jump into the keys, uh, one thing that I, I, I actually um, forget is this. On these drums, this is not all for the drums. I also have some uh, heads going on, which are this one. So let me click solo. Da, 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 da. So these ones are simple. I used um, different uh, heads, samples. You can see even by the waveforms. Wave this is just a, a rim shot. This is a rim. 
a rim shot from uh, from the main drums. Okay, cool. So if I play this uh, with the ambient, then and then from there I said you jump into the keys. So these presets uh, they are found in Ableton Live. This is uh, you can see them here. We have Kuti keys, which is this one. Let me solo. It's a little bit brighter and light, and then this one is warm. It's like a rodish. It's like a it's a piano rodish. And then as for this one, it's a preset from Cog. So Poly Six. If you can get uh, Cog Poly Six, you find if you open the presets. Let me open it quick for you. Seems like my piece is dragging, but it's okay. Oh damn. What am I doing? I'm trying to be patient. Okay. It's coming. It's coming. Okay. Why is it still black? Oh, okay. Here we go. So you just come to the presets after. Yeah. It's dragging. My PC, it is dragging. All right, cool. And then you scroll down. Like you can see the scroll bar is somewhere here. You see it. Uh, VCF oscillation. And then that's what I used, which is this one. All right, cool. So I think I'm done for the keys. So speaking of keys, like in terms of chord progression, me, I was copying the song that was already done. So I, I did, I uh, took my time trying to figure out, you know, key by key. And then these things are the samples, so they're not important. I just chopped this from the original song, like the focus sample. Also this, I couldn't find this cool until I ended up chopping it from the original song. So what we have here, so far, um, uh, let me just uh, play everything quick. So I'm playing everything quick now. All right, from here. Okay, just to re-explain this, like I said, you have your drums. On point first, start from the shakers, kick, and then percussions, and then from there, once you're done, try to have a riser ready to introduce the ambient, which is this one, or um, other keys as well. And then your drums depend if you're having a drop like this, or if you're just, you know, doing this. Mine, most of the time, you don't have to change drums here. Yeah? Like, you can still keep it simple, but I changed because I was trying to do a small arrangement because the initial song that um, um, I was copying, it's a bit long, it's like five, eight minutes. I don't really remember, but mine, I tried to make it, you know, three, four minutes just to make it simple, just for the tutorial, guys, just to at least um, show you something. All right, then from there I moved. Uh, I have the same um, drum roll with the riser inside. Also, also I also have another riser. Only this piano was added. Yeah, this uh, uh, electric piano. That was all. And then the drum roll. And then we going to the uh, preload drum section. So this section, uh, uh, I call pre-log drum section, is, 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 is a section whereby you want to introduce the log drum. So this, the, the, like, um, almost 90% of the, of these 80 to 90% of, uh, instruments that are playing here are the same thing from the beginning, like drums, um, your ambient keys, and you can see. So the only thing that I added here is, uh, except, um, uh, uh, thinking, yeah, also the riser, it is there, you can see, I have it here, this is, so I'm not going to talk about that. So the only new instruments that are, are added here is the bass. So I have this bass, so this bass, I, I did put it because it's a pre log drum section, so I want to use this bass to introduce the log drum section. So I'm going to have to show you the preset that I used. So this, um, I'm an 82K log drum, if you don't have it, you can check the link in the description below uh, for the log drum, grab this one you can um, find uh, some log drum presets. So how I came up with this sub bass, like an 808 tap sound is, I went to pick uh, uh, one of their presets here. So if, you, if you're scrolling and browsing, for example, maybe, maybe this one. So, so what you need to do is you need to have uh, more of this, uh, of the decay or sustain. So between the two.
So once you have that, that and then you remove this click, because the click is uh, what makes it a log drum. You can see. So let's say it, it, uh, it is sounding higher. So if it's sounding higher, you might have to check the mode, for example. This is higher, then you need to take it low. So you have to make it deep by doing this. Then it becomes a cleaner um, uh, sub sign. So that was all for the preset. And then uh, let me move forward. I think I also have a special riser for this. Right, cool. That was all to introduce that log drum section. And I have this pink. This pink is a machine sound. It's like a melody. Two, two. So for this one, the reason why I'm playing it from the pre log drum section, if you haven't checked my other previous videos, there are videos that I, 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 I'm on my channel, like um, titled um, uh, Log Drum Patterns or How to Introduce a Log Drum. Or if you check one of those videos, you see, you'll find a video whereby I'll be explaining a more and more deep about uh, the pre log drum section, a section that we use to introduce the log drum. So uh, at this moment, I have this melody just waiting to play along with the log drum. So I am putting it pre and then here it goes on like officially and then the other thing that was added on the log drum section it is this uh so, you see all right cool so the drums are still the same thing and this is uh, the the ambient is still the same thing maybe just a few changes here you can just do according to what you want and these ones are the focus samples this is the same. This is my 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 beat tech. Okay, so let me just uh, move on into uh, uh, the log drum. Before you you think of putting the log drum, make sure that you 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 have a, a, a I mean a, a pattern like um, a log drum pattern. So in this case, this is my log drum pattern. So what makes a log drum pattern are these things. So this is so for example, and this. Okay. So these are the things that I'm using. So that section, you want to create log drum, find some snares, some those noise things, depend on what type of armor piano that you're creating, add them. Once you have it, these things clear. For example, if I just play these things like this, like it will tell you like where the log drum is gonna sit. So that's his wire. I have the log drum like this. Plus, I was actually trying to uh, copy from the original song. All right, cool. So let me move on and show you which log drum preset is this. So this preset, you the same log drum. I'm a 82k log drum. You have to check the link is in, is in the description below. And then that log drum, and then this one. There's in your you see main tracks is because um, I did a bit of tweaking for each section. So this one is more moody. So when I mean mood, I mean it is this like that kind of um, FM sound, that kind of mod modulation, which is this one. Let me exaggerate it. So all right, so if I remove it, you see it's like this, but it is still there. So this one is a little bit steady as compared to this one, as compared to this one. You hear it when the switch is there. You see, this one is a little bit steady, and that's the this is that's the same thing with this, with uh with the other sections as well. I'll just try now, you know, make some changes there and there. And then this one, moving on to this one, this one is a uh, um that's the sub uh um that I have that I'm layering on top of the. I don't know if you can hear. If you're on speaker, you might hear it. If you're not. Uh, you gotta have to wear headphones. All right, so this one is a basic. You find this device in Ableton Stock, so it's called Bass, which is this one. I didn't do anything except just using the sub, which is just a simple sine wave, and I did a, a bit of tweaking here. That was all for this log drum section, guys. So combined is like this. Or well, let me just try to play other sections that I didn't play. So now with this, uh, with the snares and all that. And then a riser and then shh. Simple like 
that there. And then from this section is the same thing, guys. It is this part, but without drums, the only thing that was added and changed um, is this. I added another vocal. Yeah. Yeah. And you can hear that pre bass is playing to introduce the log drum that specializes that. Come back in. Hey. Hey. So all this is the same thing, guys. I can't keep uh, re-explaining um, everything, like or showing you, but it is the same thing. This part, it is this part, and this is just the outro, like similar, just like chords, and you know, that's it, guys. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Um, I will see you on the next video. Let me play it from here. See you guys. Love you so much. Hey, 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 hey,